Okay. Okay, Kim, we're gonna look at Kimmy K. <laughs> we're gonna um, show you how to feed him with um, using a cup. I've already mixed up the food. It's in. Uh, I use styrofoam cups. Um, and so we're gonna usually just like with your cockatoo. If you touch the side of his face, that elicits the feeding response. And his feeding response is really strong. Um, all everything over here is going to go flying whenever he, whenever he starts, and I probably won't be able to talk. So, but I'm just going to do a little bit at a time, and um, just kind of show you how it is. I know it's much easier to um, syringe feed, and when we do syringe feed um, with the big macaws. We use 100 cc syringes, um, but in order to show you how to do this, because it's, his, he, his feeding response is so strong, and if you're not used to it, it would be very easy to um, aspirate him. So, um, with all that said, here we go, because he's really hungry right now. Um, okay, buddy, hang on. So you're just going <laughs> to... I think I can do it. Well, um, let me feed him a little bit where he's not so hungry. Now, what I'm doing is I'm supporting the sides of his face, but I'm also holding him down as hard as I can um, because he's really strong. So, if I let him go with that with that bounce and try to keep up with him um, it it's just impossible now one thing you have to do is make him I would if I were you get a towel or something to stand him on but uh, we always use the feeding tub so they know what that is okay buddy here we go <laughs> okay I'm just gonna have to, have to do it and see what happens Usually, I only feed him with the cup right at the end. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Can you see? Can you get? Now, he got a pretty good bit then, and it is messy. Um, that's another reason why I like to use the tub. But um, I probably got 30 or 40 cc's in him then. And if you hold his head back, he'll, he'll empty his beak because it gets in his beak and then when he stands up and puts his head like it usually is puts his head up then then it'll just come right back out of his mouth so can you see so basically what we're doing is I'm opening his mouth I'm supporting both sides of his face and with all of all of the strength that I have which isn't a whole lot I am holding him down so that because if I let him go, I would be going like this. Okay, BB. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Very messy. Um. <laughs> Look at that boy. Look at him. I have it all over me. All over him. Okay. Oh, wait. You know what I think I'll do too is go ahead and put in a small syringe. Let me get you cleaned up a minute and then we'll see what we can do here. Because that is just too, I think that's going to be too hard for Kim. You're a big boy. Okay. Uh, Okay, I'm going to use this 20 cc syringe and just see if he's any easier to to hold down a little bit. Can you see, honey? If I um, if I just put the, if you'll try to put it like squirting it down in his beak, he's old enough to where I think it's going to be very hard to aspirate him. But I just don't want to take that chance because. It would be really bad for you. I mean, it, it would m make you feel really bad if something like that happened. So I'm going to hold him down and just very slowly <laughs> put 
this right down in the bottom of his beak, and then we're going to hold his beak back. I only got about 15 in him, and then we'll go back a little bit to get that he swallows it. So, one of the reasons why they're so in, such enthusiastic eaters is because especially when they get this size, when they're in the, in the wild and their parents are feeding them and their parents are trying to keep, the dad is trying to keep himself fed, the mom fed, and the baby. They usually only feed the baby in the wild because it's just impossible to keep that much food um, going. But they, um, they, if, especially if there's more than one baby in the nest, they will, they'll fight, fight, fight. I could show you the little tiny three-week-old that I just fed a minute ago. And he, he, for his size, he's exactly the same way. He, it's like they're, like they can't eat unless somebody, unless they're fighting for it. So, plus, plus the feeding response is what helps the mom, don't come out what helps the mom get the food into them too. So I'm real close to the bottom now. There's probably only about 20 cc's left in this cup. This is a 12 ounce cup. So and it was about half full. So that's how much they eat. So okay. I'm going to just kind of slowly tilt it up. And he's a little less enthusiastic now. So that was a little easier that time. If he's not real hungry, then he, um, he's a little less enthusiastic about it. So, that feeding response is so strong. That's another reason why I don't, I don't really like to let them go um, when they're little bitty because if you're not used to it, it's just really hard to get used to. It's, but this is my sixth or seventh one this year, and we have as many as twelve a year, so I'm, I get to do it a lot. <laughs> okay, you want one more. You want one more. Maybe you could do this in the bathtub, and it <laughs> wouldn't make such a mess. Here we go. Here we go. Good boy. Good baby. What a good baby. Um, you know, another thing is a smaller cup and maybe one of those wax cups, like, um, I don't remember what you call those, but they're, they may be a little more flexible and you can just kind of pour it. Like a Dixie cup. Like maybe. a Dixie cup, right. Um, and just do, just start with a smaller amount instead of having that, like, six ounces of it ready. Um, that would probably be better. But that's basically how you do it. I've pretty much got him cleaned up. It's easier to clean him up on the play stand. Come up. Step up. Come on. Come on and step up. Good baby. Good baby. And we're going to let him flap a minute. And just really get it all over the kitchen instead of just a little bit. And then step down. Step down. Step down. Good baby, good baby. And then finish cleaning him up over there because you can reach him all over. And he'll probably flap a little bit more. He's, um, his, his crop will be pretty big right there, but that's okay. That's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, let me get you cleaned up. Can you say hi? Hi for Daddy. Can you say hi? For Uncle Chuck now, he'll be in just a few days. Noah's going home next week. Uh-oh, poo-poo. Poo-poo. Okay, did we get it all? I think I saw some back here. Okay. All right, little boy. There you go. There you go. Can you say hi? Can you say hi to Mom and Daddy? Can you say hi? Noah. Ah, say bye bye. Have you got a sugar? Have you got a sugar for me? <laughs> oh, thank you. Little more. Thank you, thank you. We try to kiss them a lot after they eat because they're in the wild. They of course are fed by their mothers and they're fed by regurg into the mouth, and so they have that mouth to mouth.
um, instinct during feeding, so he looks a little rough right now because he's wet. But um, anyway, so we always kiss ours a lot after we feed them, and um, and so it makes them really good kissers, especially the blue and gold. <laughs> Say bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> Good.